Happy Tuesday, everyone. I praise God for waking you up this morning. I praise God for you tuning in this morning. I praise God for the new day that he has given us in which we are able to arise and shine and give God glory. And I want to wish you a happy Tuesday. A Tuesday that is filled with blessing and favor, especially now as you are about to partake of your daily dosage of one day that builds up your immune system and kick start your day. So yesterday I went into the shops with one of my friends and there was something that caught my attention. There was a display of different types of knives. But what was fascinating about those knives is that the price of the knives, they range from 199 pounds to 299.9 pounds. There were some that actually went up to 450 pounds. So those knives people will invest in because of the quality of the knife, and maybe because it matches in with the decor of their kitchen, but something need cutting and the knife is needed. But you know, as I saw that, the Holy Spirit started speaking to me because it came into my mind of the word of God that is sharper than any two-edged sword and it cuts asunder every heart and it causes conviction. But this knife, this sword, it is free and it's available to everyone. Are you being cut by the word of God? Let's pray. Loving Father and our God in heaven, I just want to praise and thank you this morning for a new day, a fresh beginning, dear God. As we have confessed our sins before you, God, you have not allowed those sins to follow us into today and iniquity because we have surrendered and given them to you and you've cast them into the deepest part of the sea. Lord, help us not to go deep sea diving, but help us to accept your forgiveness and allow the Holy Spirit to fill us up, especially God, as we open into the word of God. You have awoken us up to a brand new day and we thank you and praise you. So as we open into the word that is sharper than any two-edged sword, I pray, oh God, that the word will cut away every spirit of pride, jealousy, every sin that so easily beset us, that it will cut away at our heart, our soul and our mind, dear Lord, and that our, our, our lives will be transformed by the word. Because as the word cut, as the Holy Spirit move over the word, it convicts, it leads us to truth, and it causes us to come in alignment with the purpose of God. Father, today, may you draw us unto yourself. May we go into the word and experience the power in the word so that our lives will be transformed. That we will be a re that every dark place is God. The, the word of God will cut through, Lord, and bring about light and deliverance. That every brokenness, the word of God will cut through and bring every parts back together and to make us whole that the word of God will cut through Lord and it will open up our eyes spiritually that we will see beyond the physical that we the word of God will cut Lord and we will embrace the promises the life that is in the word and that every rough place will be will be smooth and every crooked path will be straight will be straightened as the word of God cuts through the dross in our life and bring light and life into our day and our heart. I thank you, Lord, for this one a day. May the Holy Spirit that inspired this word rest upon me. And may you speak through me, Holy Spirit. Speak to our heart, dear God. Let this word cut through every tentacle and destroy every demonic stronghold and break every infirmities, dear God, that plague us and that we will arise in newness of life. 
Lord, may your power come forth into our heart, into our soul, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. So those knives that were displayed, the quality of them was real good because of the amount of money that you have to pay. But God is saying to us that in Hebrews 4 and verse 12, Lord, please bless the reading and the hearing of your word. For the word of God is quick. It is powerful. It is sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow and is a discerner of the thought and the intent of the heart. We know that the heart is desperately wicked, but the word of God is able to cut through everything that is in our heart and bring us in alignment with the word of God. Those knives have nothing on the word of God, and the word of God is freely available to every person who is seeking after God, because the word of God is sharp. We know that this two-edged sword is the word of God, because in Ephesians 6 and verse 17, it said, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. And this sword of the spirit is the word of God. Brethren, whatever you are going through right now, the word of God, the sword is there. It's ready and available to cut through, to remove those forests in your life that is blocking out the Son of God from shining through. If the word of God is available to lift you out of that pit and to plant your feet on solid ground, but you have to surrender to the word of God. The only thing that the word of God is like the sun. The sun shines and it depends on the surface because the sun is able to cause walks to melt. The same sun cause clay to be hardened. As the word of God shines upon our heart, it breaks up the folly ground. But you know, the only thing that the word of God cannot, the only surface that the word of God is not able to touch is against your will. The word cannot go against your will. You have to surrender and accept the word. And that is when the word will cut through and remove all of those things in your life that is holding you back, those impediments, that unforgiveness that is in your heart. The word of God is powerful, but we need to seek out the word of God. In Jeremiah 23 from verse 29, the word of God was like a fire and the word of God is said to be like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. For Saul, it was the word of God that said, Saul, Saul, why persecuted thou me? That led to a, a name change and that changed his heart that he who wanted to go and persecute God's people became a fervent follower of the word of God unto his death. The word of God is powerful. It is the word of God that went via Nathan to David, that cut through his heart of guilt and removed the wickedness that was in and showed him the wickedness that was in the act that he did against Uriah in 2 Samuel chapter 12. It is that word that led him to repentance in Psalm 51 that said, create in me a clean heart. The word of God is powerful. It is the word of God that Jesus spoke to this woman in Luke 13 and verse 11, that was bent over in her infirmities for 18 years and she straightened up and she was loose of that infirmity. It was the word of God that cut through the deafness of death that said, Lazarus, come forth and he that was dead came forth. It was the word of God that was found into in the temple that was read to Josiah that led him to afflict himself and the people and it caused a revival in the land. It was the word of God that Nehemiah spoke 
to the people, when the word was read, when they stood from morning till dawn and they listened to the word of God that was read, that led to repentance, that led to cleaning out amongst the children of Israel, where those that were married into marriages that God did not approve of. It led them to repentance and they came in alignment with God and the blessing that God had intended for them poured into their lives. How is the word of God affecting you? The word of God bring revival. The word of God bring revelation. The word of God bring healing. The word of God dispel every dark clouds. Are you allowing the word of God to cut through your life? Are you allowing this two-edged sword to remove every stone that is in your heart, to break them apart so that the spirit of God is able to move into your life, to break away unforgiveness, hurt, bitterness, to break away doubt? Are you allowing the word of God to convict you of that life of sin? Are you partaking of the word of God? Is it cutting you? Is it causing you to bleed? Is it causing you to turn away from that life of sin and to turn to God and cry out, Abba, say, Save me. I pray this morning that you will partake of the word of God. There is no knife that is worth 450 pounds that is able to save you. It is only the two-edged sword, which is the word of God, that is able to cut through and bring deliverance, that is able to restore and build up and bring healing to your soul. The word is a bomb in Gideon. The word is there available. And it is there to remove everything within your heart and to bring life and light. I pray this morning, brethren, that you will start your day in the word and that it will show you who you really are so that you are able to cry out and God is able to cut out those things out of your life that is holding you back, that have you bind up, that have you under oppression, that lift the burden that is upon you, that will break the bond of wickedness, that will bring you in alignment with him so that when the enemy comes like a flood, the spirit of God will raise up a standard. When those that do wickedness against you, it shall not come because you have been saturated with the word of God and you've been convicted by the cutting of that two-edged sword. I pray this morning that the word of God will be your knife and that it will bring about, it will dissemble and it will put you back together and in alignment with God's plan so that you will live life more abundantly in this world. Have you been cut by the word of God? I pray this morning that you will partake of the word of God and that you will experience the operation, the cutting that the word